Hi, welcome. Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to do a teardown, a disassemble of this MSI laptop, and at the same time, I'm going to walk you through and explain on how to upgrade additional M2 drive or maybe RAM, changing out the battery, changing out the fan, things like that. So in this teardown video, you get to see the entire process, and I'll explain to you each of the steps. All right. So this is the MSI PS63 Modern. If you're not sure what the model is, turn it around, take a look at the back of your laptop. Here you should be able to tell is MS-16S1. Alright, so this is the back of your computer. What you need to do is just get yourself a Phillips screwdriver, just a regular PH1. Let's go ahead and remove the screws. There is one screw hidden right behind that factory seal sticker. So you need to remove that as well. The screws are all the same in size. All right, once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to go ahead and remove the back cover. What I like to do is to go ahead and find the side corner. Usually the corner is a lot easier to get in. I'm using a metal prying tool. Stick it right underneath and I should be able to pry it open. Okay so once you remove the back cover as you can see, this is the entire internal part of your laptop. I'm going to walk you through a few of the components here. At least you get an idea what is going on or what are the things that you're looking for. Both sides here are your CPU fan, one for CPU and one for graphics card. Here is your M2 NVMe drive. Here are your DDR4 RAM. This is your CMOS battery. This entire black piece right here is the laptop battery. Here is a Wi-Fi card. And the entire black board would be your logic board of the computer. All right, the first thing I like to do is disconnect the battery. The connector is just right here. You can slide it down towards your body. There's no clip or anything that holding onto it. Just slide the connector down. Go ahead and get a Phillips screwdriver and we can remove the battery. Three regular Phillips screw and the entire battery will just come right off. Not sure where to buy the battery, I'll show you the model here. It says BTY-M6L. I am going to list all the parts and the tools down in the description below where you can click. It will direct you to either Amazon or eBay to find a replacement part for this computer. The next step I like to do is to remove the M.2 drive, the Phillips screw, lift it up right about 45 degree angle. You're going to find a little bit sticky on how to lift it up and then slide it to your left. What happened to that M.2 drive, they have this what we call the thermal pads. This therm thermal pad is the one that conducts the heat from your SD card, sorry, from the M.2 SSD card onto the motherboard. This is the 512 gigabyte. And if you want to recover the data, meaning that if you want to transfer your data, uh, let's just say you want to retire your computer and extract the information off of the M2, what I recommend you to get is this USB adapter. This USB NVMe adapter allows you to insert the hard drive and then stick it into any other computer to extract or recover your data. Next is the RAM. 
to push the two side clipper on the left and the right the ram would just pop right out at 45 degree angle and you can slide it out let's do it on the other side same you pop it at 45 degree angle sorry pop the both side clipper and then you will just slide the ram out here is the 8 gigabyte pc4 this is the pc4 ddr4 ram a laptop ram you can upgrade 16 16 that would be 32 gigs right now is 8 and 8 it is running on a 16 gigabytes ram here comes the cmos battery if you want to reset the motherboard or anything all you have to do is to slide a connector to your left like so and you just disconnected that CMOS battery alright so let me go ahead and start disconnecting some of the cables and I'll walk you through what are those cables are go ahead and disconnect the uh, flip the clipper up slide the cable down flip the clipper up slide the cable down that would probably be your touch touchpad flip the clipper slide the cable down that is for the keyboard lighting on this part here looks like the keyboard is attached on the other side so leave it as this this connector here slide it down that is for your speaker both sides left and right speakers are connected by this connector here open up the clipper slide the cable away from you that is for your LCD screen this one here is for the CPU fan go ahead and push the connector away from your body and that is a little piece of tape you can just rip it off here comes another CPU fan connector slide it out we're going to remove some of this tape here the Wi-Fi with the RAID cable tag on it is on the right side that is for the white and then without the RAID tag cable this is the black which is on the left let's go ahead and get a Phillips screwdriver we're going to remove some of the screws here see if we can remove the CPU fan two screws and the CPU is still not coming off meaning that it might have been underneath the heat sink let's try the CPU on the other side there are three screws here for the tiny CPU it is the same thing it, gets, it is still not coming off probably the heat sink is covering it up alright so the next step let's try removing some of the heat sink you might be interested on removing the heat sink maybe if the thermal paste is all dried up and you're having a heat problem with the laptop then it is time for you to check making sure that the heat sink have enough thermal paste and conduct the heat well enough so that the laptop does not overheat alright so the one on the left with the black screws in it it doesn't come off no matter how much you twist the screw is meant to be there with the heat sink except the one on the right here the white screw actually does come off and when you remove it as you can see that the CPU fan it is still attached to the heatsink and that is the reason why it does not come off now what you want to do next if you have a heat problem you can get yourself a thermal paste this is the MX4 thermal paste and get yourself like an alcohol wipes and what you want to do is just kind of wipe down the uh, the dry thermal paste on your heatsink as well as the uh, CPU or the graphics card and then apply with the new thermal paste alright so let that being said let's put that on the side 
see if we can get this one out there you go and here are the thermal pads what you can do is you can cut them in any size that you want and just mesh the size to cover up that chipset all right we're going to remove the motherboard the motherboard screws are tend to be a lot smaller this is the 1.5 Phillips screw so go ahead and remove that By the way, I just wanted to say that um, if you're looking for additional storage capacity, you can actually add additional M.2. So you're going to have two M.2 drive in this process. The original M.2 can be here and you can install a secondary M.2 continue on the other slot. So they'll be side by side for your upgrade. You do need to peel some of the tape off because the tape are holding down the motherboard. And that's pretty much it at this point here. You want to be very careful with the uh, keyboard because the keyboard is to attach to the motherboard. So I'm flipping it backwards. As you can see that the keyboard is still connected to the motherboard on, on the other side. You just have to disconnect that cable. All right, so I just want to touch base real quick with you. Um, the keyboard here, as you can see, it is punched down keyboard, meaning that the screw is not holding down to the keyboard. It is manufacturer being punched down to it. So in other words, you are not able to replace the keyboard. Again, I repeat, in other words, the keyboard is not replaceable. You would have to buy the entire palm rest so remove the three screws okay remove the three screws and then the entire keyboard the bottom part of the keyboard you would have to replace the whole thing unfortunately that's the design for the MSI and you would have to go with that route all right I hope this video is helpful if you do find the video is helpful please uh, smash the like button I uh, really appreciate you for liking the video and if you uh, haven't subscribed to the channel please feel free to subscribe I really appreciate you for subscribing and thanks for watching until next time bye now